video first year students welcome back into my channel you are watching motion ali 14 where i am providing passing packages for the video students if you are having the backlog in the subject introduction to c++ programming so this video is for you subject code is bplck 105d or 205d this is the passing package or i can say some super important questions for your makeup examinations so model wise i have taken out the super important questions which you should go through and these questions should be at your utmost priority so first of all uh, first question is differentiate between object based and object oriented programming okay also write the features of c++ and give reason why c++ is not pure object oriented programming this is first question next is with help of first uh, c++ program explain the basic syntax of c++ program okay next is uh, with suitable example explain the concept of classes and objects how objects communicate by using message passing explain with suitable example and what are abstract classes with suitable example explain the advantage of abstract classes this may be eight marks question next is describe the terms uh, abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism write down the syntax and example to create a class this is all about model first okay next we have model second over here uh, in which you have to cover list and explain the different types of expressions supported in c++ write at least one example for each what is function in c++ with syntax example sorry with syntax explain the importance of function prototyping write a c++ program to swap two integer numbers by writing a function that uses call by reference method next uh, number four what are inline functions in c++ when compiler ignore the request of inline function also write the situations when inline functions may not work so what do you mean by function overloading write a c++ program to demonstrate function overloading for the following prototypes like this these are given over here that is add integer a integer b add double a and double b what are default arguments uh, when they are useful list out and explain the different variables and operations used in c++ with examples now coming to the model third what are constructors in c++ write any six characteristics of constructors okay with suitable example explain default constructor and parameterized constructor and what are destructors in c++ describe describe them in brief what is a hybrid inheritance explain with example differentiate between single multiple hierarchical and hybrid inheritance with appropriate code snippets okay explain multi-level and uh, multiple inheritance with the help of programming examples and last question we have explain base and derived class pertaining to inheritance with examples okay so now in module 4 what are c++ streams with a neat diagram explain c++ stream class hierarchy write a c++ program to create a text file check file created or not if created or write some text into file and then read the text from the file to display on the screen with syntax explain the functions used to open close and read data from write data to text files and detect the end of the file okay write a c++ program to write and read time to or from binary file using f stream what are various types of files what are the various methods in which a file can be opened with an example program and explain get and put and get line functions with examples last question from the model 4 is here that is write a short note on io streams also expand its uses next is model fifth what is an exception write the common reasons for exception to occur and explain the exception handling mechanism in c++ write the general format of try catch block which invokes a function that generates exception write c++ program to demonstrate how a try block invokes a function that generates division by zero exception and catch it in catch block next we have write the general format of multiple catch statements write a c++ program to demonstrate multiple catch statements with suitable example explain generic catch statement and exception rethrowing mechanism and explain it explain predefined exception in c++ with examples write a c++ program function which handles array of bounds exception using c++ so these are varieties of questions which you should go through in order to pass the 
C++ programming subject. If you are convenient with the programmatic part, just go through previous year question papers and also model question papers. Try some programs also. So this is all about today's video. I wish you all the best for your examinations. Make sure you will share this video to all your friends who are having backlogs in this particular subject. Thank you.